here on GoPSUSports.com with head coach James Franklin. Coach, earlier this week, you know, I heard you say that, you know, there's nothing more you like other than Christmas than a whiteout. How did this whiteout Christmas, you know, meet your expectations today? That was unreal. Uh, you know, obviously the, 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 you know, the atmosphere here, you know, you can make the argument is, is one of the top, if not the top in the country. But tonight, I, I can't imagine there's a better atmosphere than what we had. Can't thank the fans enough. I mean, 110 plus thousand whatever it was but this win in my mind this win uh was for our university you know college game day very appreciative of espn bringing game day here because it allowed us to showcase our entire university and all all the wonderful things so this is for president Barron. this is for the board um, this is for all the deans and professors on campus because there's just so much value. Obviously, the football game was wonderful and it was awesome, but the fact that we were able to showcase all the wonderful things about our community, Happy Valley, and our university, uh, you can't put a value on that. You know, Beaver Stadium already in a frenzy even before kickoff, but that fast start, you know, Saquon Barkley really setting the tone. How impactful was that? Yeah, obviously, that's something we take a lot of pride in and starting out fast. It was an area uh, that we felt like we needed to improve from last year. Last year, we were a second-half team. Right now, I think we're, uh, we've scored 90 points in the first quarter, haven't given up any. Uh, and when you're able to do that, it changes how people have to play you and how they have to defend you um, and the style of play that they want to play. So there's no doubt there's a lot of value in those things. Speaking of what we saw in, in Saquon's first touchdown, you know, I know that you mentioned kind of, you know, checking other things out, wrinkles, you know, showing themselves. How much did that kind of help um, opening things up for him in the rest of the game today? Oh, I think it really helped. Lining up and empty and staying and empty and, and, and throwing some passes out of there with really, um, um, really, you know, good matchups for us. Uh, the, the wildcat play that we were able to run where we shifted, you know, Trace and Saquon with a little bit of misdirection. Um, there's value in that because now the defense doesn't feel like um, they have spent all week long keying on your tendencies. So, you know, um, we went into an unbalanced set as well. So those things are really important. We were able to save some of those things towards the second half of the season, um, and we're going to need to continue building in these areas. And the leader of uh, this offense, Trace McSorley, you know, how pleased were you today with his execution? Yeah, he's just, you know, he, he, he ran the ball so well threw the ball for a really high percentage, and then toughness. You know, you talk about a guy running the ball in a low red zone, running a guy over for a touchdown. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think people put enough value on toughness at the quarterback position. Um, guys going to stand in the pocket when the blitz is coming and you know you're going to get hit and you still deliver the ball, and then being able to run the ball uh, tonight is, is, you know, was obviously very, very important for us. And, you know, all week long people talking about Michigan's defense, but Penn State's defense really on display today. What can you say about, you know, the leadership and the, the performance of someone like Jason Cabinda and the rest of the defense as well? Well, I think it's a credit to both. I think it's credit to our offense being able to, to move the ball like that against that defense. But, yeah, we talked all, the, all week long. All week long, uh, yeah, everybody was talking about Michigan's defense. We got so much respect for Michigan's defense. Their university, their defense coordinator, Don Brown, does an unbelievable job. But we play pretty good defense around here, too. And Brent Pry does a great job for us. So, uh, you know, we're just playing really good complementary football. Offense, defense, and special teams at a high level right now. So, you know, there's going to be things that we got to clean up. There's things we can get better, and that's exciting. You know, and I know we celebrate every win, you know, like it's the Super Bowl. No one is different. But I'm curious, you know, what was your message to the team in the locker room post game? Just I'm really proud of them. Um, you know, really proud of them. And it, go in and give Michigan a lot of credit dealing with the media. Um, but to be honest with you, 1-0. You know, 1-0. We got about, you know, 30 minutes from now to enjoy this win. And then we'll start focusing on the next opponent after that. But I'm just proud of them. You know, we just we keep growing. We keep maturing. We keep getting better. Um, you know, so we're one and zero. We're one and zero, and we're going to try to be again next week. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much.